today it's probably backwards but hey so yeah just get into the vibe today before I get ready to go to sleep um, wanted to get some things off my chest so I was like huh should I do some channel writing should I do another video or should I do some tarot so you know, I was kind of interested in doing some tarot you know some funny games So I'm going to try to pull in some channel messages for you guys today. Got my white candle burning. Vision, clarity, purity, all those good things associated with white. Clean slate, you know. So let's go ahead and get some shuffling. I think this will be my first official time shuffling the cards on camera, right? So yeah, I kind of wanted to do a different reading today, um, just setting the attentions for a specific type of reading that we're going to be having today. It's going to be, usually I do three card spreads, but what, however many cards are going to be pulling this evening, I guess that will be what we're doing. So I'm implementing a new method of <laughs> having a couple cups of wine this evening, so don't be alarmed. Oh, two, two, two. So don't be alarmed, it won't be too long, we'll try to make this a quick 10 minute video, we're already going on 2 and a half minutes, so, let's see, what are your strengths, this reading is going to be for the collective, so if you happen to find this video, it's most likely for you, what are your strengths, I think I did a video a couple of days ago about you know how people view you, so check out that video. Check out my Facebook, check out my Instagram, check out my Twitter, Black Tonio Views, Black Tonio AW, and also my Cash App, Tony Williams, Black Tonio. And let's get into the reading. Let's see what we got for you guys. What messages can I pull in? And 963, so we do three more shuffles. So, yeah, um, the vibrational frequency of 963 hertz, you can find it on YouTube. It's good for clearing your crown chakra, you know, clearing your headspace, you know, try and help you release negative thoughts and things like that. So, I'm not sure if that was two or three shuffles, but. All right, so all right, interesting three car pull for what are your strengths? So already we have here. Knight of Cups. Nine of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. So I'm not gonna read the book for you guys this evening. We're gonna go off this intuitively. We 
Y'all know I'm a visual person, so let's get into it. So already I can see uh, from the Knight of Cups that uh, this person has a very uh, strong attribution to love. I mean, the Cups is a water suit. You know, water rules emotions and things like that. You know, this picture, in fact, has a masculine with roses in his hand. You know, he's just chilling out. You know, he's like the the guy that you always see just chilling off to the side with his head cocked. He never really says much. You know, you can see the white horse in the background. You know, he's riding in on his white horse knight in shining armor and all, all those different types of things you know very casual looking fellow you know uh but yeah that big bouquet of roses so you're most likely the type of person that is very loving very giving very, very kind very kind hearted very thoughtful very empathic you know if you've watched my videos in the past i gave an explanation on you know different types of attributes on on uh you know, masculine and feminine presences, you know, men tend to be more empathic, which I happen to believe is a more masculine trait when it comes to, you know, displaying love. You know, it says in the Bible, men love your women, women obey your men or trust. But, um, you know, men are very loving. Men can be loving. Men can be emotional. But yeah, men can be emotional, men can be very, you know, caring, loving, and giving, you know. So, um, that's what I'm getting so far with the Knight of uh, Cups. Very interesting card. And second, we have the Nine of Swords. A very familiar card. We have the Feminine her hands and uh, with her face in her hands you know with nine uh with, with, with swords being the air suit uh normally symbolizing words and you know thoughts and you know as i say spells and things like that you know just a bunch of reoccurring thoughts and things like that we have a bunch of crows here at the top of the car with the one white crow, the one saving grace coming through to shield this person from all these negative thoughts here. So it can be taken in a number of ways. This person has, um, you know, the ability or you may be the type of person that's able to block out, you know, negative thoughts. You know, everyone's human. No one's perfect. So things may affect you in certain ways, but you have the unique ability to be able to block out all of this negative energy. You know, there's a process. You go through a process. You may be able to heal quickly, um, quickly than others, you know. Maybe you're able to process these thoughts uh, and emotions quicker than uh, or more uh, hastier pace than other people. You know, sometimes it's not all about being in your emotions and being in your feelings all the time. So that is definitely a, a gift when you're able to move past trauma quickly or you're able to at least find ways to distract yourself from the mundane and all these negative thoughts that's especially what's going on now and this year. So uh, that is going to be the Nine of Swords. And then we have moving directly from the Nine of Swords into the Ten of Swords. Again, a person... You know, dealing with negative, uh, you know, thoughts and de dealing with negative words, maybe negative things people have said about uh, this person. But this person has the unique ability to walk away from different situations. You know, this person's back is turned. There's ten dark crows up here, either guiding or leading this person. Because other people's actions can, you know, when people reveal themselves, that shows you where you want to put those people on your um on your karmic circle whether it's going to be on one end of that spectrum uh where you don't really pay them any attention or the other end of that spectrum where you highly favor these people so when people reveal their thoughts you know their emotions and their actions to you you're able to place people in a certain light <laughs> or a certain dark 
um, but yeah so if you're this person has the has an extraordinary ability to walk away from you know anything that's going to cause them you know any type of uh, detriment or harm normally when you see the ten of swords and the right away tarot the traditional tarot you will see a person laying on the ground with ten swords stabbed through their person but on this one this person is standing upright they're not defeated they're just having negative thoughts with their back turned to the card they're able to process those thoughts and you know whether they're gonna process them in a positive or negative way it helps build character and they're able to move forward this person is not stuck so uh, tense normally symbolize completion and this person is able to close certain doors or open certain doors because with beginnings becomes uh, with with endings uh, also becomes beginnings as well so that is the unique special power this person has you know this person is traveling the world this person is on a journey you know, this person has set sail this person is on their way some type of thought provoking or you know with with uh, swords being words um, you know some type of motivational speaker or some type of uh, spiritual movement or, or some type of thing you know again with swords indicating thoughts this person is able to reveal certain things so this is a very special ability very insightful uh, ability and it, and it goes hand in hand to with, with, with the first card the the Knight of Cups, you know, this person is able to inspire the world. This person is able to reveal different things to the world, and um, you know, just move people in a very thoughtful kind of way. You know, keeping in in suit of you know the ten being completion with swords and swords being thoughts and words and things like that. You know, so an interesting spread here for this evening. I enjoyed reading for you guys. Knight of Cups. <laughs> Person that has extreme empathy, sympathy, and love. Uh, sort of the knight, the knight in shining armor, should I say. The very casual. You know, you wouldn't really know until you actually get into the visuals of this card and pay attention to the details. This person has a lot to offer with the red roses here. I mean, who would turn down roses in a box of chocolates? But this person also has a shadow side as well. Hence all of the dark thoughts and dark uh, dark crows here. Again, a, it's, it's air, it's swords, it's nine, it's personal victories, uh, personal thoughts and things like that. Personal hurdles that this person has, uh, is going through. But, you know. There's always hope here. And of course, the last card was the, the Ten of Swords. Some person on a, a person on a journey, person on a thoughtful uh, spiritual movement. Maybe there's going to be a lot of speeches or clarity involved. But an overall superpower, I would I would say, if I had to put all these three cards together, this would be a type of you know, who? What would we say? Maybe a type of, uh, let's see, Professor Xavier, the X-Men type person, or wasn't there like a spiritual leader who helped solve like a lot of crimes uh, back in the days? I forgot what, uh, what her name is. It was, it was a famous psychic woman who helped solve a lot of crimes. People thought she was a fraud or a faker, but um, you know, no one can ever really prove you know, these things, and she indeed helped a lot of people whether people believe it or not but that's going to be the three card spread for your spiritual gifts or uh, what type of gifts you may may possess you know if you find this video again it was most likely for you congratulations on finding more, out more things about yourself there will be more videos like this in the future and thank you guys for listening to my drunken tarot card rant <laughs> you guys be safe and have a good one